Are you a musician looking to improve upon your daily productivity? A composer who is searching for ways to augment your project management skills? An artist looking for a few workflow tips? This video will offer a free to use tool that will immensely organize the day-to-day -day lives of composers and musicians. Hey guys, I'm Eduardo Delgado and I'm here to talk to you about how to use Notion as a composer and musician and walk you through a template I created to help you get started. With that, let's dive right in. If you don't already have it, go to notion.so and get started by creating a free account. Whether you have created an account or not, if you wanna follow along, you can find the template below in the description. So here we are on the music dashboard. Consider this to be your homepage where you have access to all the elements of your musical life. In this template, you'll find a place to document your daily composition, a practice log, projects, a daily scratch pad for tasks, along with some additional resources to get you brainstorming on how this might work for you. At the very top of this template features a place to document your daily composition. To document what you've composed for the day, it's as simple as clicking the plus sign on the day you composed and adding a title. Just make sure that this is something consistent and relevant to you. You can leave it at that, but the power of Notion is utilizing its database features. So here I've added a few starting points. You can go in and add a description. And in here, you'll find a huge list of adjectives to get you started. Shout out to Ben Newhouse for this list from his amazing book, Creative Strategies in Film Scoring. A link to the book is below in the description. I added a few other database functions to help get you organized. Like if you've used this composition before, you can just click this box, a rating function, and a place to link or upload a file for your composition. For me, I like to add the composition to the post for additional reference. For musicians that want to practice log, this template offers two views, a weekly view and a monthly view. A special shout out to Dimitri Panisi and his video, The Secret Notion Weekly View, for the tutorial on how to set up a weekly view in Notion. I've linked to the video in the description below. So in the practice log, just click on the plus sign to add a new practice session. Add a title. Again, keep this consistent if you can. A good place to start is just adding the date as the title. While you're in here, I've added a quick template that you can just click and it'll pre-populate the notes area with some space to add some additional notes. You can include things like time spent practicing, piece practiced, read used, room used, or whatever you want. I also recommend adding new fields to help document some of this stuff. Let me know in the comments what you come up with. Let's go back to the top of this dashboard and talk about the tasks section real quick. This is a quick scratch pad completely inspired by Thomas Frank and his video called Best Way to Manage Tasks and Projects, a link which can be found in the description below. This is meant to be an insanely quick place to just add a few to-dos. There are a ton of deeper integrations you can do with to-dos. I left a few of my favorite integrations in the description below. But this should at least get you started. To add a new day, just hit the plus sign, add the date as the title, and hit the enter date template. From here, add your to-do list for the day. If you want it to disappear from the list, just hit the archive button and close the screen. Under music projects, I've left space to keep track of projects you're working on. This could be anything you need to keep track of. A song you're working on, movie you're scoring, studio upgrades, competitions. It's always good to have a place to see big picture what's going on. I've included two templates, one that features an ability to add subtasks and one that is a simpler to-do checklist. So let's go ahead and create a new project and choose the template Simple To Do. The Simple To Do allows you to keep track of small scale projects. It might look like your daily task section, but its purpose is different as that'll live on for the project's life, where your daily tasks are just that. I've added a few starting points like the due date for the project, priority, and the archive check button in case you are done with projects and you want to hide it. For larger scale projects, go ahead and use the subtasks template and it'll pre-populate with a database within your project. This will allow you to add more detail for each step. Here's a pro tip. You can use your daily tasks to add to-dos from your projects. 
To do this, just copy the task that you want to add to your daily tasks. So let's go ahead and copy this task three. We're gonna hit copy link to block. And then we're gonna go into our daily tasks. We'll make a new line and we'll just hit the paste button. And then in here, you wanna hit the paste and sync button so that it adds the exact task. And now the beauty is that it's cross-referenced. So if I click check here on my daily tasks, you'll notice that if I go back into project two, it's now crossed off. If you wanna make reference to the entire project, you can go into your task and just hit the paste and mention block, and it'll put reference to the entire project here. I've added a bunch of other features to this dashboard. If you're a film composer, you might already find these super useful. And if not, a few clicks can customize them to your needs or just delete them if you don't think you'll ever need them. You'll see I added a media list to keep track of the shows and movies you're watching and I've added a few properties to help you tag your content. Like, is it a TV show or a film? status, genre, director, composed by, date finished, and ratings. As a bonus for media composers, I've added the ability to either add quick notes or spotting sheet as templates. The quick notes look a lot like this, with an ability to add general comments, themes, and favorite cues. The spot sheet adds a database that'll keep track of frames per second, in point, out point, duration, thematic material, instrumentation, note status, and an area to even rate the queue. Shout out to Reddit user Ben Something for the insane detail on the coding for this section. The link to the original Reddit post can be found in the description below. The watch list also filters out of the media list and gives you a nice high level glance at what shows movies you have in queue. For those shows, movies you've made notes for, I've added the spotting notes from film TV page to give you a quick and organized glance at everything you tagged as full analysis, quick notes, and shows, movies you're currently spotting. Additional links included are places to keep track of competitions you enter, courses you're taking, and the sheet music collection, all chock full of tags and data points that can help you get started in managing your music life. So that's it. I hope you'll find this template useful in organizing your musical life. Again, I'm giving this to you for free. Click the link in the description below and show some love with a like or subscribe. There are a ton of other possibilities with Notion, so I encourage you to continue exploring its amazing possibilities. And thanks to all of you for sticking around and supporting my video. That's it for now. Keep on making music, and I'll see you next time.